What we have learned first is that there is a need for a global nuclear safety framework. There is a need to implement the safety standards that are developed in the agency and which really uh, are the basis for a high level of safety. What we have learned also is that nuclear regulators must be strong, they must be independent. We have learned at the same time that it is working together at the global level that can help strengthen safety on a continuous way. There is a fundamental principle that the operator is responsible for the safety of its plant. There is another fundamental principle that there should be an independent and strong regulator to oversee the work of the operator. And the regulator should have all the competence and should have the technical scientific competence to regulate correctly the operator. And in that case, the knowledge about the risk of huge earthquakes, of huge tsunamis, existed in the scientific community in Japan. And scientific community in Japan is the best one, which has the best knowledge on that. But unfortunately, this knowledge was not transferred to the safety authority. And then the safety authority was not strong enough not independent enough to control, to oversee the operator. This is the initial cause. That meant the operator had not prevent, protected its power plant against such a tsunami. If this knowledge that this could happen had been available, then the height of the wall to prevent against tsunami might have been higher. There could have been also watertight doors which would have prevented flooding of the, of the buildings. Uh, the diesel generators might have been put higher on the hill so that not to be also drowned by the tsunami. And most important also, there should have been measures taken to manage a uh, severe accident, and this was not foreseen. And the, f the staff was not trained for such severe accidents. With training of, severe of the staff, training of the staff might have prevented an escalation of the accident. In December, the plant reached uh, status, which is, it is no longer at the height of the crisis. The temperature of the reactors is lower than 100 degrees Celsius. There is a reliable cooling, though outside cooling, but reliable cooling. Uh, there is a monitoring of the, the shutdown status of the plant. I mean, no nuclear chain reactions are going anymore and this is monitored and the release of radioactivity outside the reactors is now minimal. So this is what the Japanese authorities have called cold shutdown status. There is still a lot of work to be done but they, they are cooling the reactors and their main problem now is to manage all this contaminated water. The first priority is certainly to manage that contaminated water to avoid that it escapes into the sea or into the ground. On a longer time frame, uh, they will have and they are preparing to remove the fuel from the spent fuel pools and later, because this is more difficult, to remove the fuel from the reactors themselves. You must remember that the fuel in the reactors themselves have melted and so this is a quite technological challenge 
a radiological challenge also to remove the fuel from the reactors. This will take years. At the same time, uh, there is also the need to recover the use of the land as much as possible and to allow people to go back to their homes, to their schools, to their factories. This will take some time in most contaminated areas. In other areas where the contamination is lower, uh, this can be done with a lot of work indeed, but this can be done in the near future. You never can say an accident will not happen. What you can do is reduce the possibility that it happens. And if it happens, make sure that the consequences will be minimal. This is the work in safety, to protect, to avoid accidents by all means, strengthening operators, strengthening regulators, strengthening the international regulations, the IAEA safety standards. But this is also preparing for the case of an accident. Emergency preparedness and response must be totally in the culture of all nuclear industry, of no all nuclear actors.